I'm a naturopath in New Zealand. Oop, I went down there. How long does bloating last? And the question here, how long does bloating last after I've taken antibiotics? And again, we're back to the piece of rope scenario, aren't we? An inch or a mile. I mean, bloating depends a lot on your habits. So I found the people who bloat the most are the people usually who don't have much regard for their gut in a lot of sense. It's a bit like when you take your car to a mechanic and the mechanic will say, why are these brakes worn out so bad? Or why are the flat spots on tires like someone's panic braked? Or how, you know, they'll ask the person who brought the vehicle in, how is the person operating this vehicle? Under what manner are they operating the vehicle? Because I've got a feeling that the way they're operating it is affecting you know, this vehicle, premature wear and tear. Now, many people are like that with their diets. They've got no, not much of an idea of what goes in here, in the mouth can actually affect this. So too much food, too much of the wrong kind of food, poor combinations, eating at weird times, no regard for chewing, no regard for water, lots of regard for coffee and alcohol and sundaes and fizzy drinks and stuff like that. These are things that lead to bloating. Now you may laugh and think I'm mocking you, but I'm speaking, you know, as a person who's seen thousands and thousands of cases of people with bloating after antibiotics. People are bloating for many different types of reasons. We all bloat at some times, but some of us bloat more than others. Some of us bloat all the time. And the cases I've looked at with the worst bloat usually are people often with the least amount of regard with chewing and their diet. So by paying much more attention to what you're eating and how you're eating and when you're eating it, you can reduce your bloat well over 50% just by that alone. Just by chewing food really well and reducing your portion size. Just by cutting out sugar from your diet. Just by cutting out crap. And that will reduce chances of bloating by 75%. But there are other things that can account for bloating too. Like you could be on medications, for example that may make things worse. It could have a medical condition. So you could have had surgery, like all sorts of scenarios. So I'm just talking generally here, all right? So, but after you've had an antibiotic and you still get bloating, I would ask you the question, if you're in my room here, and that chair, normally got a chair here, but if you're a patient, I would say, um, did you bloat before you had antibiotics? If so, tell me about it. How often would you get it? Would it be a regular thing? Would you get much? gas or farting uh, do you have to loosen uh, you know your waistband or, or your belt you're on your trouser belt uh, these are all these questions i would ask the patient to find out and then drill things down more and often find it was a specific thing that was causing the bloating could be a food could be a lifestyle habit that something was underpinning all right now you guys know me if you watch my videos i dig all right i'm sort of like an archaeologist i like going down ding digging and the reason I dig with patients is to find the cause of the bloating. Right? There's no point giving someone a pill for an ill if you don't know what caused the ill. So you've got to try and work that out. Hmm? So how long does bloating last after antibiotics? It should be literally days or a week. It should be gone. If it lingers on and on and on, think about the advice I've given already on this antibiotic series about eating the right kind of foods, taking a probiotic, drinking more water and taking it more easy. Basic stuff, but basic is always best. Thanks for tuning in.